Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to show um, how I made this tag. This tag is made for a challenge here on YouTube. But I wanted to show everybody how I made this. Um, how I did the uh, emboss look without using an embossing folder. I learned this from um, my sister-in-law. So I wanted to show everybody how I made the tag. Um, <clears throat> This is a 8x4 shipping tag. I bought these in bulk. It's been a while back, but they're really large. These are really, really, really large. I love these tags. <clears throat> but first off, you're going to need your tag. You're going to need some Distress Ink. I am using three different colors. I have tea dye, sponge sugar, and weathered wood. These are the colors I'm using. <coughs> You're also going to need, uh, I'm using my hot glue gun, an iron. I am using my uh, homemade glimmer spray. I call this color champagne. It's really, really light. A light brownish pink color. I love this color. And then I'm also using some Prima Quick Dry Fluid Chalk Ink in Old Rose. And I also have some white ink pad that I'm using. It's Martha Stewart. You see how dirty it is, but it still, it still comes out white, so I still use it. But first off, what I'm going to do is take the tea dyed ink. And I am going to put it on my non-stick craft sheet here. Smear it on there. And then I'm going to take my, uh, my champagne colored glimmer spray. I'm going to spray it on. It's cooler to use, you know, any kind of glimmer spray better than just using water because you get that that little bit of sheen. And I'm just going to swirl my tag around in this. Like, I'm using tea dye, but you can use any of your, you know, the colors that you like if you want it darker. It's up to you. This is messy. The color. It's brighter on my camera than it is in real life. I'm just set this to the side and I'm gonna wipe up my mess. <clears throat> you can use your uh, heat gun. I'm just using an iron. It dries a whole lot faster and it helps your tag lay flat. So I'm just using it. Make sure if you use an iron, I'm using, this is the only time I ever use an iron is in crafting. It's not like I iron my clothes because that ain't going to happen. Um, <clears throat> just make sure if you do use your household iron that you iron your clothes with, to make sure that you clean it off really well after you get done with this because the ink will stay on your iron. <clears throat> your tag all inked up. It does have some shimmer in it which the camera does not pick up of course. <clears throat> it never picks up the shimmer. <clears throat> but um now what you're gonna need how I made the embossed image on my tag without using an embossing folder. 
I am using this um, chipboard piece that is from Want to Scrap. It's a dress form. I am also going to use my cuddle bug, just like I would if I am using an embossing folder. But here's my cuddle bug. I'll open the camera for everybody to see. <clears throat> But I, I'm going to layer it. I have my A plate. A plate. And I also have my two B plates. And I also have this uh, rubberized mat. I think you get this to go with your like if you're gonna do um, use spell binders, but you don't have to do that. You could just layer like cardstock, and I also have a piece of chipboard that I'm gonna layer in there. Helps give it a good impression when you layer it all together. But <clears throat> you just want to layer. You want to put your tack. Well, you want to put the little the little chipboard piece down on your plate. Let's see if I can do this backwards without walking out my camera. But I have my A plate and a B plate and I have my little chipboard piece. <coughs> now I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to layer it on top. I'm going to put it on top of the chipboard piece just you know wherever you want it at no biggie. Then I am going to lay down this little rubber mat and a piece of chipboard. You don't have to use this chipboard. <clears throat> you know, I'm not telling you to use it because it may damage your cuddle bug, but because you have to really crank it through there, like hard. So you have to get it, force it through. So that's what I'm doing. You can just, um, I know not all cuddle bugs are made the same. I have this type, and not everybody has this type one. So mine can take a pretty good beating. But I know some ladies have them that have a, the handle, like, moves around on them. Like, they can store it up, put the handle up. And the handle doesn't like to break, so I've noticed that. But on my cuddle bug, it's pretty sturdy. If it does break, I have a whiskers fuse. Alright, here we go. And it leaves this impression into your tag. But that's how I did it. So you can basically use any like chipboard pieces that you have lying around. You can use them as embossing. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Um, I was supposed to stamp this first, but I forgot before I ran it through, but that's okay. We can do that now. No biggie. Because you're going to have that like vintage weathered look. But I'm using Tim Holtz, this background stamp. You can use, you know, any background stamp you have. And I'm using Versifying Black Ink. You know, whatever ink you have, you can use it. I use multiple inks, you know. I have um, Stays On and Archival. So it just depends on what you want to. I couldn't find my other ink pad, so I'm just going with this one. <clears throat> You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, this stamp, this tag is kind of vintagey looking. So you can tell. If you would have stamped it before you did the embossing part, then uh, you would have got a crisper image like I did on the first one. 
I'm doing it backwards now. Stamp again. Turn it up the right way. So the writing's not upside down. No biggie. It just gives it a more vintagey look. There's your tag. Now I'm going to um, use the weathered wood. I'm going to use the straight from the ink pad. Ink to paper. Ink pad to paper on my you see how it brings out the image and I am also going to use the sponge sugar just like this I love the very light pink that it puts on the paper I'm also going to sponge on some of the tea dyed to, you know, make it darker. some of the weathered wood sponge it on to some of those blue I like this color it's like a bluish gray really cool color <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back up with the pink because I like the pink Another pretty pink color would probably do good is uh, the Victorian Velvet ink pad. It would be really pretty on here too. That's how. That's how I did the tag to give it that. It's really cool. Raised look, embossed. Even the back of it's you know embossed. How awesome is that? And I am going to now, I'm going to go around the edges in this uh, chalk ink, this pink. It just helps bring out the pink color in that sponge sugar. I kind of like rub it. It's a chalk ink, so it kind of stays kind of, it's pretty wet for a little bit. So I'm rubbing it in around the edges. Just with my finger. And then I'm going to take the white ink and also go around the edges. This is Martha Stewart. I think this is like a pigment ink. But I love these little ink pads. I've had them forever. They've lasted me forever. But I'm also going to go over the, the image itself to bring it out with the white. But how awesome is this? This looks really cool. Um, but this is just a little technique I wanted to show you. Um, this is how I did the technique for the tag that I made for the challenge. But any, like I said, any chipboard piece, like I have um, some bird cages, but I want to scrap, um, just any, you know, open piece like this that has like this openness in between, you're going to get this really cool embossed 
you know, image if you run it through. You know, sandwich it the way you need to sandwich it. Just try out, a, you know, the different ways that you need to sandwich it in between your plates to get the good, to get a good impression. But that's my tag. I wanted to show everybody how I did it. <clears throat> it's really cool. Pretty simple. But um, thanks, ladies, for watching. Yeah, I'm not going to go through and make the whole tag. Y'all pretty much know how to put trim and lace on. So. But I just wanted to just do the, that little technique for you. Let me know what you think. Um, I also have a Facebook page for anybody. Any ladies want to come over and be my friend on Facebook. Um, it's Cassie's Craft Spot on Facebook. Same as here on YouTube, Cassie's Craft Spot. <clears throat> but um, thanks for watching all my videos and leaving me such sweet comments. You know, if you make a tag like this, I'd like to see it. You know, see what type of technique you used. Um, just send me a link to the video. Thanks, ladies. Have a great day.